This is Teachable Moments with April podcast, and you guessed it, I'm your host, April. If you're a returning listener and a part of the Teachable Moments with April podcast family, welcome back. For those who are checking me out for the first time, well, hello and welcome. To everyone listening, be encouraged and look for the Teachable Moments that are all around us. Enjoy. When it comes to commerce, think of PayPal as an invisible force, optimizing your business end-to-end. With flexible solutions to configure your checkout flow, you control the features you want and your customers get the options they prefer, minimizing lost sales. Their vast data, rich intelligence, and machine learning technology helps you protect your business, saving you time and bringing you peace of mind. And with over 20 years of experience, PayPal is in over 200 markets and has a global consumer network of over 400 million active accounts. Rise Above Fear and Worry, 30 Days to Fearless Living by Unity Ministries. Some of the questions most frequently asked these days are, how can I see what's happening in the world through spiritual eyes? How can I keep from fear and despair? Fear is nothing but a thought, yet it can dominate people's lives. Let's consider the definition from the revealing word, a dictionary about the inner meaning of terms used in spiritual study. Fear. Painful emotion marked by alarm, dread, disquiet, Webster Dictionary. Fear is a paralyzer of mental action. It weakens both body and mind. Fear throws dust in our eyes and hides the mighty spiritual forces that are always with us. Blessed are those who deny ignorance and fear and affirm the presence and power of spirit. Fear and how to overcome. Fear is cast out by perfect love. To know divine love is to be selfless, and to be selfless is to be without fear. The God-conscious person is filled with quietness and much confidence. You might ask how one becomes more God-conscious. Fortunately, the question has been addressed throughout the years by a variety of New Thought writers and thinkers. This content is a collection of spiritual practices for living without fear and quietness and confidence, no matter what is happening around you. Dear God, thank you for listening and responding to our prayer. I worship you as all-knowing, all-powerful God. Please help me in each challenge I face today. Today's content comes from Rise Above Fear and Worry, 30 Days to Fearless Living by Unity Ministries. Day 15, The Day I Nearly Died by Rev. Brian Grandin. On September 28, 2010, I was carrying a pane of glass from an old house on a construction site, and it shattered. It severed all my tendons, a nerve, and an artery in my left arm. I did not know the extent of these injuries at the time, but I was in a state of shock and convinced the foreman to drive me to the hospital. I did not take the time to fasten a tourniquet, but just squeezed it with my good hand and jumped in the truck. To begin with, I had relatively low uh, blood pressure and I am anemic. After just a few blocks, I realized I was in serious trouble. Soon, I would bleed literally to death. I was immediately becoming groggy, my grip was weakening, and I couldn't stop the blood flow. Then I prayed, but God, I'm not done yet. I prayed another highly personal prayer, then began to shut down. We were still about 10 minutes away from the hospital. 
I began to wonder if this really was my time or if I would have a near-death experience. I was not fearful of death at all, just disappointed that the guy driving would be freaked out by a dead guy next to him and that I would not be able to say goodbye to my loved ones. Suddenly, I heard him yell out, Hey, there's an ambulance on the side of the road up in front of us. He honked his way across seven lanes of San Diego traffic to cut off two ambulance guys from leaving a 7-Eleven parking lot. They had just stopped in for a soda pop for lunch. So in this parking lot, the EMT stopped the blood flow and got oxygen on, on me so quickly that it was amazing. Later that evening, I met with the EMTs at the hospital. They told me that my blood pressure was so low that I only had about maybe two minutes until I was it was game over. God answered my prayer long before I knew what to pray. My life is a prayer and I am never separated from God. Every fall, Wild Adventure's Great Pumpkin Luminites and Pumpkin Spice Festival grows even bigger. It tastes even sweeter and glows even brighter. Introducing all new Luminites Legends Pumpkin Gallery, a brilliantly carved collection of Georgia's most famous icons. It's all part of our biggest, brightest, and wildest fall yet. For your best value, get the rest of this year and all of next with the 2024 season pass. Plan your visit and buy your pass today. You were just listening to Teachable Moments with April Podcast. I truly hope you enjoyed this episode. We invite you to stay connected with us on the other social media platforms of ours, which is TikTok, Pinterest, Instagram, Threads, and YouTube. Also, we'd like to invite you to check out our official podcast landing page on podpage.com slash teachable moments with April to see all our content in one place and leave personal messages, feedback, and more.